So the question has been raised, how can we embed audio or video or media files into questions inside of Canvas quizzes? Canvas, as you may or may not know, has changed the quiz editing feature over the last few years. And in fact, the old or classical style Canvas quiz is going away in the next year or two. And so I thought it would be helpful to create a Canvas how-to video to demonstrate how to embed Canvas questions or how to embed media files into Canvas questions. So what I'm going to do today is create a simple quiz. I'm going to add one question to it and then we're going to embed a media file into it. Uh, today we're going to embed a sound or audio file into it because that was the particular question that was raised. I don't like the new quiz editor because they've taken away the ability to add uh, HTML directly. You have to use their tools, their rich content editor, but you can't edit HTML directly into the questions. I don't like that because I prefer to edit my own HTML because it allows you to have a lot more control over the things that you embed, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, to start off, we're going to create a quiz in a module. And to do that, we hit the plus sign. We're going to come up here into the uh, add item box, the drop down. We're going to add a quiz, create quiz. We're going to make this a new quiz this time, and we're going to call it audio file quiz. We're going to add that item, and you'll notice that it put it down here at the bottom of the module. I'm going to go ahead and drag it up to the top just so it's easier to find. And we're going to click on it so that we can edit it. It will open up in the edit view. I'm going to go ahead and add some points. Uh, I'm going to leave it in the assignments group. You can put it in other groups if you have any. I like to make mine a percentage because that way it's easier to grade. It actually gives you a percentage of grade instead of points. This part, the submission tool, because it's a new style quiz, you're going to want to leave this alone unless you're using uh, some kind of outside tool like Turnitin or something like that, uh, Plagiarism Checker, you're going to want to leave this alone. Assignment, unless you have, uh, unless you're breaking your class up into groups and assigning different assignments, you're going to want to leave this alone. Due date, I'm going to make it due eh, Monday. And then um, available, I'm going to make it available today just so we can work on it today. And then at that point, I'm going to come over here and click on the Build button. And what that does, that lets us add content. So it opens up inside the Quiz Building, the new Building Editor. I don't like this. This is the most uncomfortable tool I've ever seen. But as you can see, my title is there, Audio File Quiz. The instructions, we need to add some instructions. And so to do that, we come over here and we click on the pencil. And that gives us a rich text editor. Uh, you can add audio. You can add video here as well. If you click on the button, you can add an image file. You can add audio or video. You can drag and drop those things, or you can browse your computer. I'm not going to do that at this time. I'm just going to add instructions. And basically what I'm going to say is select the best answer for the following. And I'm going to call that good. Okay, once we've got instructions, the blue dot with the plus sign allows us to add questions and content. So I'm going to click that, and then we're going to add a multiple choice question. Inside here, we're going to give our question a title, and we're going to call that, let's say, Unit 1. And you can add whatever titles. This allows you to set up uh, sections or groups or however you want to arrange your tests. You can you can group your tests this way. You can give each, I don't know, you can give each group of questions a separate title. Uh, you don't have to do that, but you can. And then the question stem is actually where you're going to put the question. And basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say name the following, or let's say give the title. Give the title of the following clip. Okay, and then I'm going to add a musical clip in here. So I'm going to clip the Upload Media button, and this is what you want to use to uh, upload a media file. Click there. 
I'm going to click the audio button and I'm going to browse my computer. When I do, I just happen to have some MP3 files here. I'm going to click this one. And you'll notice when I hit import, it imports the file and have this little icon here. I can actually move that down where it looks a little better. Pardon me. Now that I've got that there, I'm going to go ahead and add the answer choices here. And I'm going to say, I'm just going to give some fake answers. A, B, C, D. And I'm going to make the correct answer A. You would actually put, I don't know, let's you would put the titles of clips in here and one of them would be the correct title and so uh, also you have options here if you needed an on-screen calculator uh, there are some other options that you have um, I'll let you investigate these other possibilities you can also use question banks there again I'll let you investigate those but needless to say these are the basics the things that you need to do to create a question once you've got those done then we'll click done and we will have created questions. This is what your question will look like. Select the best answer for the following. Those are your instructions. The title. And then the question itself. Give the title for the following clip. And then there would be the player. This is what the students would see. All right, so let's go back to our modules. And once we're in our modules, we're going to publish our quiz. You'll see that it's not published here. We need to click here. Once the arrow goes green, our quiz is ready. Now we're going to go into student view. This is what our students would see. And we're going to look at our quiz as our students would see it. So we're going to come down here to our audio file quiz. This is what they would see. And we're going to say, OK, let's take this quiz. We'll see our one question. Assuming it'll load sometime today. <sighs> All right, so here's our instructions select the best for the following, and then our question give the title of the following clip, and then if they click the play button, then the clip will start to play. We'll listen to it, we'll select the answer A, B, C, or D. We're going to collect A because I believe that was what I said was correct. At that point, they can stop. They can come over here and submit since there's only one. And they finish the quiz. I submit there. Auto grader happens. And sure enough, they were correct. They were finished. And so now we can get out. We're going to leave student view and go back. And that is how you would embed an audio clip into a question. Basically, it's not as handy as being able to embed your own HTML files, but it is what Canvas offers. And so uh, if you have any questions, please contact us at uh, Teaching and Learning. I can be reached via email, whitear at grayson.edu or 903-463-8756. Hope you have a good day.